Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 19. Today, we are going to be adding warp functionality to our teleport uh, plugin. So before we get started, I just need to let you know that uh, if you have not watched the previous video, you need to watch it or else this will not make sense. Um, so in that previous video, we added a second file to the settings manager to use and we did all this stuff to it and then if you go back to your teleport um, uh, plugin that we already made, uh, you just need to change a few things. First of all, in your on enable, you need to um, have the you need to run this setup method of the settings manager, and then also in all of your commands, when you get the configuration, it needs to be um, settings .get data because we're getting the settings manager and then we're getting the data file. So I believe that's all that you guys need to know before we get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our set warp command. Let's ignore case set warp. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to say if args dot length equals zero player dot send message chat red plus please specify a name and return true. So if they don't specify a name for the warp, then we just want to stop them right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the warp settings. So we're going to do settings dot get data dot set warps dot plus args zero plus dot x to p dot get location dot get sorry dot get x and now what this does is it makes this warps dot arg zero dot x so it makes a category called warp the configuration section called warp and then in that it makes another section that's you know the argument that they supply which is the name of the warp and then it sets the x so you'll see a category called warps, and then a subcategory with the name of the warp, and then under there you'll see the X, the Y, the Z, and the world information. So let's go ahead and change a few things. You're going to want to just do this, dot get world, and then dot X, dot Y, and dot Z, get X, get Y, and get Z. And then settings, dot save data, and p dot send message chat colored dot green and we're gonna say um, set warp and then we'll tell it the name and that is all there is for a set warp command now let's go ahead and do a warp command and then we're gonna do a delete warp command cmd dot get name dot equals case warp and then again, you can just copy and paste this because we want to make sure that they specify the name. And then we are going to do, uh, sorry, world w equals, um, you can just copy this equals settings dot get data dot get, sorry, equals bucket dot get server dot get world settings dot get data dot get string and then just go ahead and paste it right there and it's warps dot whatever dot world okay and then you're going to say double x equals settings dot get data dot get double um, warps dot arg zero dot x and then you can just go ahead and oh yeah plus and then you can go ahead and copy this paste it two more times change it to x y and z and x y and z and now you're going to say p dot teleport new location and the location takes a world in x, a y, and a z, so just w, x, y, and z. And then p dot, sorry, p dot send message, u, sorry, 
color you got? Green plus teleport teleported to um, uh, whatever the warp is. And plus sign right there. And finally the delete warp command. If cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case del warp. Uh, and then just again copy and paste this. And now what we're gonna do is we need to check if it, we need to make sure that this warp that they're trying to delete exists. So we're gonna say if exclamation point exclamation point settings dot get data dot get configuration section warps dot plus args zero. Sorry, we're gonna say if this is not equal to null. No, I'm sorry, if it equals null. So if it doesn't exist, then p dot send message um, shot color dot red plus warp args zero does not exist. Oh yeah, and also in the um, warp command, we also need to copy this right here and paste it, and also add the return true because if it doesn't exist, then we don't, then we can't try to send them there. I forgot about that. And then we're going to do settings dot get data dot set warps dot args zero to null, that will remove it, then settings.savedata, and p.sendMessage, color.green, plus removed, warp, and then args0. And there we go. That should be it. Let's just go ahead and and in the plugin.yml, I set up the um, set warp, warp, and del warp. You can um, you can find the plugin.yml as always in the description. And you know, I just changed the version in the description for fun. All right, so let's go ahead and export this, and we will give it a try. Teleport. And now let's head over to our coding tutorial. Sorry, uh, testing server and start up our server and let's just make sure that everything starts up correctly okay ah so it does look like we have an error and it said that it could not create the data.yml file so that is right here so something happened right here Hmm. All right, now I did, this has happened to me before, and I found that the way around this is that you can, let's see, ah, I see. So the way around this is, uh, let me just see, create. Um... I see. Okay, so we actually need to change this to remove that. Okay, so there we go. I think that um, the problem was we were trying to make a file called teleport, but we really wanted to make the directory called teleport. So let's go ahead and uh, okay, I have that deleted. Let's see if it works this time. And there we go. Our teleport is there, and our data.yml is there. Okay. So now that now that everything generated properly, we can go ahead and go onto our test server. All right. Let's go ahead and join our localhost server. And okay. First, I'm going to really quickly show you that you cannot um, go to a warp or uh, delete a warp unless it exists. So just um, warp, you know, whatever, or warp, 
uh, or Delaware, or whatever. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually try everything out. So we have our heal sign right here from our previous plugin. So let's go ahead and set work heal sign. And as you can see, it set the warp. Let's keep our, let's open up our data.yml. And as you, ah, that's right. I forgot one other thing that when you set a warp, you want to do get name. Set warp. Okay. So, uh, because then you'll get all this. This is all the different information that's stored in the world file. So what we actually want to do here is the world's name is world. So um, we'll just go ahead and change it rather than have to re-export everything. So now we can go ahead and uh, warp heal sign. And as you can see, it took us right there. If we um, if we go walk away, let's eat some apples. Okay. So if we walk away and then we go warp there, you'll see it'll take us there. And now if we go ahead and del warp heal sign, it removed the warp. So let's check our data.yml, and as you can see, that warp was removed, and if we try to warp to uh, heal sign, it does not let us do it. So there you go, guys. You just learned how to generate another configuration file, uh, you know, fix that up a little bit, and you learned how to make a, a uh, warp, set warp, and del warp commands to uh, uh, add to our teleport plugin. So as always, Comment with what you want to learn. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.